Mr. Lim Bao Chuan. Sir, over the past year, I received a few complaints from residents who face difficulties with their neighbours. The issue is not just a simple dispute between two neighbours or about an unreasonable neighbour. The problem seems to centre on the mental state of a difficult neighbour who behaves irrationally. In one of the complaints which I received, the neighbour asked for help regarding another neighbour who rents and uses vulgar language or abusive language on every other resident on the same floor. In another case, it was about a neighbour who used a broomstick and banged incessantly on the door of yet another person. And in the third case, it was about a neighbour who hoards rubbish, not just filling up her entire flat, but also in the common corridor. And this creates a hazard to other neighbours. The recent case about a neighbour at Block 55 Tuapayo Lorong 5, reported in the media, who, who threw corrosive liquid or faeces on the walls. This is a classic case of one person on that floor terrorising the other neighbours around her. There are other media reports which describe other extreme cases of HDB neighbours who makes HDB living a nightmare. For example, in Aukam, uh, the upstairs neighbour flung feces, feces or dung. In Yishun, a woman who kept throwing things like toilet paper, sanitary pads, urine outside the floor of another neighbour. The question is, what can the authorities do to help the innocent citizens who are adversely affected by the conduct of a mentally unstable person? The Community Disputes Resolution Tribunal was set up in March 2015 to hear cases involving intract intractable disputes between neighbours after all efforts, including community mediation, has been exhausted. And according to MCCY website, about 79 cases have been heard by the Tribunal as at July 2016. However, this Tribunal is only able to deal with disputes involving neighbours living within the same building or within 100 metres of each other. And where there has been some form of unreasonable interference by the neighbour. How effective is this tribunal in dealing with people who have mental issues and who are not rational? In my opinion, residents who have mental issues require professional treatment and not just a tribunal order. They may not have mental capacity as to whether they are behaving unreasonably. Would these people not simply ignore any order made by the tribunal? Sir, I'm sympathetic to families who have to deal with relatives with mental disorder. I accept that it is challenging to have such a relative with mental issues. However, I'm even more sympathetic to the other residents who have to live daily with a neighbour who, who has a mental issue and is abusive. What is the recourse available to these residents? Or do they have to live with the antics of a mentally deranged person? May I ask the Minister, whether the Community Disputes Resolution Tribunal is equipped to deal with people with mental issues. If it is within ju their jurisdiction, can the Tribunal be empowered to issue mandatory treatment orders against any person found to be mentally unstable? And this will ensure that any person in need of medical help will be able to find such help for their mental issue and be given regular medication to, regu to manage their symptoms. This will also provide some form of relief to the other innocent citizens who has to live with a neighbour who is irrational. Of all the cases dealt with by the tribunal, does the ministry track the outcome after the order is made? How does the tribunal ensure that quarrelling parties really keep the peace? Thank you.